Welcome to Feature Friday. This is the series where we show you how to use some of the cooler features inside of Ecamm Live. I'm Doc Rock, your community manager, and today we're gonna to be talking about shortcut keys. Why? Well, this was a special request, and as the special request came in, and as I always say at the end of the videos, if you have a special request, let us know, and I'll do my best to get it out. Now, shortcut keys is one of those things that's a little bit strange. So this demo will not be like our normal demos. It might be a little loose around the edges, but stick with me, people. You're gonna learn something. Here's why I say shortcut keys are a little different. You will tend to use the ones that work for you in your productions. You won't necessarily remember all of them, and that's okay. We have a handy cheat sheet over on our website that has all of the shortcut keys available to you. You can print this list out, check a couple that you like, write them down on some cards, start to use them in your productions. As you remember them, you can come back to the ones you like and the ones you don't necessarily need, and you can forget those. So what I do is I have made a set of the ones that I use a lot, like the keys that I think that I use the most, and I will try to show you those right now so again, this won't be as hyper polished as our normal Feature Friday videos because I'm gonna to have to kind of talk this one out on the fly because these are what come to me. I did make a little crib sheet so that I can remember, but this is probably a subset of what I really use because I think they happen automatically after a while. If you use your shortcut keys enough, they become second nature and you don't even think about it. So let's dive into demo mode and I'll show you some of my favorites. But again, if you have your favorite and you think it should have made the list and I didn't use it, maybe I forgot about it. Drop that down in the comment and I'll try to add it to my repertoire, but I'll make sure I remind someone later and show them some shortcut keys that maybe I forgot. Let's dive into demo mode and the I'm gonna start with some that are kind of the basics of using a Mac. If you use a Mac a lot, you'll recognize these. These are extremely common, but I think people forget that you can use these directly inside of Ecamm Live. So let's hop into demo mode. One of the first ones is command comma in order to bring up the preferences window. The preferences window, you'll go in there a lot, so it's better to just get used to using the shortcut key, command comma, pops it up, make your little changes as necessary, and then you can dip right back out. The next ones too will be things like, if I were to put on this overlay and say move it over here, I can hit command Z to undo that. I can hit command shift Z to redo that. So undo and redo, if you ever mess something up, this works in the majority of the things in Ecamm, not all of them because of the way the Mac OS system works. But if you ever make a mistake, you can always just compress Command Z to undo or Command Shift Z to redo. Now let's say I want to make a copy of this version of this Aloha at right now. Hit Command C, again, very common, and then Command V, which will make a duplicate, and now I have two. If I want to copy this and say, bring it to someplace else, I can just hit command X, which will cut it. And again, command V will put it back, right? So I can cut this out of this scene, come over here to this scene, and then I can command V to paste it right back in. Let's say I wanted to copy this and paste it in the exact same location on another scene. I'm going to select it, press command copy. And then here, let me do that again, copy. I'm gonna to go to my new scene and then I'm gonna paste it in and it's primarily in the same spot. So as you can see, that's a good way to move things around. It's your standard issue, undo, redo, cut, copy and paste. Let me check these off of the checklist so that I'll know that we covered that. Now you notice the way to paste things in is to press Command V, that paste another copy and you can paste as many as you want. If I wanted to shed a lot of Aloha instead of a little bit of Aloha, I could just keep pressing paste and put those all in place. But where this is gonna come in a lot more handy, I'll show you here in a second. I'm gonna dip over to my notes on screen and just grab a text, okay? So I'm gonna select this text right here and press copy. I'll put it into my clipboard. You can't see it, but trust me, it's there. Let's say I was gonna make a brand new overlay and then I press paste. Okay, now I was able to paste that in, but as you can see, it's not the right color. 
So what I want to do is make sure I paste it in and keep the style that I had. If I press Command, Option, Shift, and V, that will paste it in and maintain the original format that I've used because Ecamm remembers the last format that you used. So it'll retain your font, it'll retain your color. The reason why my size has changed is because I have it set to automatically adjust the width, but that's very easy to do. If you remember your font sizes, you can come in and change that on the fly. Or of course, you can use the scroll wheel to embiggen as necessary. So as you can see here, if you have a piece of text that you say pull from a website, somebody's name, and you wanna be able to paste it in an overlay and make sure that it stays properly in the format that you started with, use paste and match style. Again, extremely common throughout the Mac universe, but it does work in Ecamm, and it is, well, a time saver. Okay, let's scratch that off the list. The next thing that I could do is grab a bunch of text over here. I'll grab some more stuff from my notes. I'll select this stuff and I'll press copy to put it into my buffer. Without making a new text overlay, I can press Command Shift V and that pasted it in as an overlay automatically. Now, I'm gonna go in and select this stuff and pick on my little colorway so it's easier to see. But if you want to paste something in and make sure that it becomes an overlay by pressing Command Shift V, it becomes an overlay. Quite time saver. When you're making new slides and you want to add a name or something, copy it, Command Shift V, paste it as an overlay, go to town. Simple Simon said to the pie man and went to the fair. That's delicious. Now this next one is going to be a little bit hard to show you in this particular demo, but I use this for making, well, this demo. If you press Command P while you're recording, Command P will pause the recording. It'll give you an opportunity to take a breath, drink water, say a few swear words because you flubbed your line and start all over. This is handy. The record only mode, I have a whole video about it. It's in the chapters. I'll make sure that I can put it up there. There you go. And you'll be able to check it out. But whenever I'm doing a demo like this, I love to use that command P to give me an opportunity to say, Woo and then back to recording. So let's move on. Now, the next two I'll talk about, I also can't show you, but I wanted to tell you these because they come in extremely handy. Whenever you're doing a live stream, say you want to start your live stream, you got everything set up, you know it's time to go, you don't have a stream deck, Command G. Command G starts your live stream. Handy, 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 handy. When you're done and you're ready to quit, Command E for N, stops your live stream. Once again, Command G to start, Command E to end, and that way you can start and stop your live streams without having to go to your stream deck. What else do we have here next on the notes? Okay, this one's kind of cool. For this, I'll go back into live demo mode. By the way, Command Shift D, I think I say that a lot. I have been using my stream deck key over here to dip in and out, but it is Command Shift D. Probably the one keyboard shortcut I use more than anything else inside of Ecamm live demo mode. Let's talk about getting in and out of preview mode using the shortcut key, Command Enter. If I hit Command Enter, you'll see right now I'm in preview mode. You can tell by the yellow line. If I had make a change, gonna make a change. Let's say I put this here and I wanna make sure I publish that. I could hit the publish button. And then when I'm ready to get out of preview mode, I hit Command Enter again. And then now it's back to my standard recording. So again, Command Enter puts me in preview mode. As you can see, I'm in preview mode. I delete this. I'm ready. I'm done. I press Publish. And then I hit that button again, Command Enter, and it gets rid of preview mode. Super, super handy. Love that if you're into preview mode. <laughs> All right, let's move on. This next one, this is something that's kind of funny because I see this come up a lot. You start your stream, say you're doing Facebook Live, and you can't find your post. I hear people do it. 
I have the problem, but all you got to do is don't panic and press Command Shift F. If you press Command Shift F, it will take you to the post on Facebook. It'll help you find it in the browser. Now, let's say you want to share it out to social media. If you press Command Shift C, it will copy the URL for Facebook and allow you to send it out to your socials. Very Facebook only, but I do use it a lot because when I'm doing the Q&As on Fridays or the daily Ecamm Live Quick Tips in the Facebook group, oftentimes I can't find the post because it's Facebook being Facebook. So Command Shift F, take you right to the post or Command Shift C will grab the post URL. You can paste it into your browser and everything is good. Okay, these you guys hear me talk about a lot. If I wanted to start a scene, I wanna do something brand new, I wanna make a scene, I hit Command Shift B and I go to blank. If I do Command L, it brings up the camera. Once again, Command Shift B goes to blank, Command L brings you back to a camera. The other thing that I use a lot, pressing just the digits, I can go to one for this camera, two will show you my Mac Mini running Final Cut, Three will show you my overhead and my cheat sheets. Look, hi, mom, right? And then I can go back to one, like Brian McKnight, here I am again. So if you wanna cycle through your cameras, the number keys at the top will sort of handle that for you. Man, we're moving through the list pretty quick, gang. Now, here's one that comes up a lot. Let's pop into demo mode. Some people say, I'm working on my overlays, right? not working on my fitness. So I move this here and now stuff is in my way and I need to be able to see it. Press Command tilde or Command grave, that's the little funny sign right underneath the escape key and it moves everything out of the way so that you can get access to your overlay, move it to where you wanna go and then you can put back your controls. Or for some people the controls are just distracting so you can leave them gone while you're doing your show or recording your pre-recorded videos. That's command tilde. Some people say command grave. It's that little special key right underneath the escape key on your keyboard, and that will make life good. Now, here's another one. Let's go back into here, and let's bring up this Ecamm Live logo. I always drag it by the wrong spot, sorry. If I wanna make this bigger, I can hit command shift plus to make it bigger, command shift minus to make it smaller, Again, Command Shift Plus to make it bigger, Command Shift Minus to make it smaller. Honestly, I don't use that one very often, but it does come in handy if you have an overlay that's say in the back of something and you don't wanna have to try to move it to the front in order to fix it, you can just click it and use the plus and minus with the shift key in order to size it that way. So that one is cool for your overlays. And then now, another one that comes up extremely handy Gonna be kinda hard to show you here, but if you press Command F, Command F will allow you to search the comments because you might have had a person ask a question that's a little bit, you know, say, important and you wanna remember to come back to it, you press Command F and that will help you search the comments. Again, let's go back to this scene here because I have it, let's remove this out of the way and I wanna duplicate that scene, I hit Command D and as you can see down here, I have a brand new copy of that scene. So let's put that away. We'll go back to here and I'll hit Command D and it duplicates the scene. So that makes it easy to make a new scene. Now, I wanna make sure I don't mess this scene up. I hit Command Shift L and now that scene is locked and you can tell because when you come over here and you try to do something, it says scene locked right here. You can press the word unlock to unlock it, but if I press Command L that locks the scene. Sorry, Command Shift L locks the scene. And then if I ever need to unlock it, I can just press unlock right here in the window. Now, as we move in this thing, I can press Command Left Arrow to go up a scene. Command Right Arrow, it's hard to tell because that's the same one, but I can move in and out of scenes with Command Left and Right Arrow. I use those a lot. Let's say you accidentally completely mess up right? Let's say I came over here and I got nothing. Command backspace will allow me to get back in an emergency. 
That is one of my favorites. I use command backspace on a regular basis. Whenever you accidentally go to the wrong scene, say your stream deck got misprogrammed, you missed some buttons, you need to go back to where you came from, command backspace will get you there. Gang, that is a quick run through some of my favorite keyboard shortcuts. I'm sure you have some of your own. If you have keyboard shortcuts that you think we missed or something that you wanna share with the crew, by all means, drop that down in the comments below. Again, if you go over to the Ecamm site, go to the support area and look for keyboard shortcuts, you can find the entire list. I will link that article down in the description below. Keyboard shortcuts will make your situation a lot smoother because there's just times where, say, your mouse fails or you don't want to move around too much. You can just slowly reach the keyboard and press something and it will do exactly what you need it to do. I find keyboard shortcuts also a fantastic way to make you learn the program better as you memorize, well, the keyboard shortcuts. Thank you guys for watching this feature Friday. I am your community manager, Doc Rock. And like Brian, if you have a feature Friday that you want to see us do, drop it down in the comments below and I will make sure we get it done for you. Thank you guys for watching. Now there's going to be a video that pops up right after this because YouTube thinks you need to see it. So do us a favor and watch the video that comes up on screen next.